So let's talk about what do women want. Now let's talk about what women, be, women females are. Females are animals. Females are animals that, you know, need to survive and reproduce. And what's the best way for them to survive and reproduce? Well, considering that females in most species are smaller than their male co counterparts, the key is to find a male counterpart that could provide for them and can protect them. Um, additionally, to replicate and produce better offspring, because, you know, after all, the purpose of life on an evolutionary level is to procreate and reproduce. So essentially what women are looking for then is male females, let's say females, they're looking for males that can both produce offspring that are going to survive and that are hopefully <laughs> going to stick around and protect those offspring and have resources to protect those offspring. And how does this play out in modern 21st century society? Well, we'll get into that, but first I, I need to explain to you, a lot of people don't really believe this, a lot of people just totally reject this, don't like to think of human beings as animals, don't like to think that we, that our behavior is based on evolutionary mechanisms, a lot of people, Christian, a lot of people don't even believe in evolution, um, and they're stupid, sorry, um, and, but you, and a lot of people have this, apprehension to trying to objectify or quantify human behavior, which in my opinion is stupid and leads to darkness and ignorance, especially regarding social dynamics. So let's talk about why this is valid. So almost every species on the planet has a dominant sex. Almost always it's male. Um, and always there are females are search for males and look for distinguishing traits um, traits that explain that, that convey that they are the alpha male or have good replication value let's call it uh, or essentially good mates so for example deer male deer fight uh, with their horns and you know so big horns is usually a good sign um, as well as size um, what else? Um, peacocks have large feathers, the male peacocks, and in general with birds. Um, birds have lots of colory feathers, but let's with peacocks, and the more colorful and bigger the feathers are, you know, it, it attracts females, and females like that, and they have a whole courtship ritual and a whole social structure based off of that. And, uh, you know, and bir birds in general, you know, the males are generally tend to be more colorful than the females. And, you know, the more colorful bird, for some reason, you know, attracts offspring. Um, but yes, there are, you know, there are traits in animals that convey dominance and high replication value. And females, you know, are attracted to those traits. Furthermore, the female behavior, the fact that there is a selection process going on, influences male behavior obviously because if you're a male it, it forces you into this position that you have to convey your your value your replication value to a female or else the female's not going to want you so you know if you're one of these people who think that you know if a deer is going to get laid let's say and if another deer come up to him and said hey let's fucking go let's go and this deer just fucking says, nah, I'm not, I'm not in the mood, I don't like fighting. You know, do you think this deer is going to get laid or not? The answer is no. The same rule, okay, the same rule applies to guys, human guys, that just say, oh, I just am going to be myself. Uh, essentially saying, like, I'm going to be myself, I don't hit on girls, I, or even worse, I don't go out, I'm not social, whatever, whatever. You're basically being the deer that's cowering. And when you communicate that to a girl or don't communicate to a girl, you're basically forfeiting. And as a result, you're going to get with, if you do get with a girl, it's going to be a low value girl and in human parlance, an unattractive, probably not pretty girl. 
Um, and once again, I have no problem objectifying human beings because human beings are animals, and I think things need to be quantified, even if you don't like it. You know, so let's apply this in human terms now. Uh, let's talk about uh, football players. Let's talk about Peyton Manning, for example, or Tom Brady, or Eli Manning. Can you imagine how much ass those guys get. Now, imagine, imagine why. Look, think of it in terms of dominant trains. First, they're big. They're very big men. Um, they're very popular. They, they're leaders. Lead, leading is a huge survival trait. You know, especially in humans, which are highly social. It, it's, it's. I'm not even going to try to explain it because it's just self-evident. If you are able to lead men and influence men, it's clear. It's a clear indicator that you're an alpha male and have. You know, good high value traits that a female wants. And, you know, what else? Talents, athleticism, uh, money. M you know, money is resources. Um, you know, animals don't really have money, but, um, you know, they have territory, for example, and territory you could turn into, into dollars or currency if you want to do that. You know, that's a very easy argument to make. Um, Now the next rung on the ladder is not celebrities, it's people who are very social. People think of how how do you survive in twenty first century society? You network, you have a lot of friends, you're very connected, you're very socially connected, you could you're able to get jobs through connections and friends, and you generally have the most fun if you have the most people around you. And so basically you know, the people who can master, who have the best social skills and, you know, have the most, the be project the best self-image and project the best, the most, the highest replication values to females, which is social, social status. Social, you know, essentially comes down to social status, um, but people who convey social status the best are the next most successful woman. That's what, where the pickup artist comes in. The pickup artist is someone who understand, who is willing to accept, because most people aren't, someone who is willing to accept the true nature of human social dynamics, in that it's Darwinian, in that it's about survival and replication and evolutionary psychology, really, and trying to capitalize off of that, and, you know, realize that in, or, in order to impress females, that they have to convey a high social value. And that's what we try to do. And we're aware of that. And what really attracted me to pick up was these were beliefs that I, or theories, that I discovered at a very young age. I, you know, already when I was 14, I could see that I was kind of behind in the game. I, I never kissed a girl, and I knew all these guys who kissed a girl, and I didn't like feeling behind. And so I decided that it was time to change that. So at 15, I started researching Nietzsche and Darwin, which eventually led to people like Richard Dawkins. You know, and Richard Dawkins, all, all of what I'm saying to you are Richard Dawkins' ideas. Rich, um, and the ideas of evolutionary psychologists. All of it. And so, you know, and what really attracted me to pick up is that very, very coincidentally, while I was discovering Richard Dawkins and evolutionary psychology, they were already doing their thing. They had came to the same conclusions that I had come to that I had done the research. I'm like, oh wow, you guys are actually smart and enlightened, so I'm going to follow you. Which I thought was very interesting at the time. I was very, it was literally, I didn't learn these ideas from, from, you know, pickup artists. I learned these ideas through my own research. And pickup artists, you know, uses that research as well, which was just very strange parallel development. But yeah, so let's get back to what women want. Women want men with social status and, and social value. Cause in human society, social value, it, is replication value because we just live in a very structured society um, you're not at risk of getting killed all the time in fact you know we have population explosions and technological invest advancements in first world countries 
you know, dying of starvation is not likely. And so the next closest way to convey social value after that is, is or survival value is social value. So, yeah, that's what one wants. If you really want to research the, these ideas, I wouldn't recommend going to listen to Mystery talk about them because Mystery is, you know, not really a credible a scholar on the matter. But, you know, read Richard Dawkins, read, you know, books by evolutionary psychologists, um... I don't really remember any off the top of my head. I, I found a lot, but you'll you just type in evolutionary psychology into Wikipedia and you'll get tons of sources and tons of people who you can look up. But it's, it's extremely useful. And if you're in denial of the stuff and are, and are bad with women, I promise you, you will never, ever get good with women. I 100% guarantee it. And you, and you need to stop this shit. You, you need to stop this game right now and stop being closed-minded. You need to... If you're going to dismiss this stuff, you need to at least look at it. But until you accept it, you will never be good with women.